five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. I think one day a week is too much. Hello, everybody. This is Alex Bennett. This is the Ramble, and we go from now until midnight on the east coast of the United States. And here I am back again after uh, being off for most of the week now. And uh, uh, let me see here. Let me get get a little more volume going there and so on. And um, uh, welcome back uh, to our, our little uh, party here. Uh, I, uh, first of all, uh, I took um, uh, several days off because, among other things, um, I, am, uh, I was uh, in court with a, a trial that was going on regarding uh, this apartment. I think I can say that much. Uh, and um, uh, you're all going to want to hear exactly what happened, and I can't tell you exactly what happened. Now, why am I not able to do that? It turns out that what we thought was going to be a, well, it was one day last week for a half day, and then it was three days this week, uh, two full days, and then one half day today, and it turns out that we're going to need another three days to do this trial. So what you're saying is, oh, I guess you're not going to be on next week, huh, Alex? No, I'll be on next week, and the week after that, 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 and the week after that. The trial resumes March 30th. Now, the reason I can't tell you much about it is because just before we were leaving, the judge said... Please do not discuss this trial, with, you know, this, uh, this situation with anyone. And I thought about it, and I said to myself, I don't understand that. Here's a courtroom <laughs> which is open to the public, and everybody can come in and see what's happening in this courtroom, and yet we're not supposed to go outside and discuss this trial with anyone. So I can't tell you what went on. I can't even tell you unless I've told you before what it's about. Okay? So, and uh, for this privilege, I'm, we paid $65,000 so far in legal fees on this deal. And I'm not getting my money's worth by being able to tell you what's happening with this, with this trial. I can, I, I imagine, I, I can tell you things if they don't have to do with the substance of the trial itself or the nuances of what's going on uh, with this trial and, um, you know, what, what, what people have said or what was going on. I can't, I can't discuss the case, but I think I can discuss the legal system. Uh, and, and that's what I really want to attend to tonight because I can't tell you anything else. I, in fact, I, I'm not allowed to discuss this with anyone. Now, I don't know uh, if the court is following me around, uh, but uh, I, 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 I wonder if I like, call my friend Shecky and I tell him what went on. If uh, they've got spies that will say, oh, we were listening in on your conversation and you talked to Shecky and the, the judge said, do not talk. So we are bound by a vow of silence, all right, to not discuss this. Uh, am I happy with what happened this week? Not particularly, no. I, I'm not happy because we have yet to get on the stand. You know, because, uh, in fact, we, we just, there are three parties involved in, here, in this, and the second party just started their, their defense or whatever. Well, we're defendants, okay? And this other party are defendants. And uh, the uh, plaintiff, I guess, goes first. And um, so they're up now, and they got about 45 minutes into their discussion and then all of a sudden we broke for a month 
um, over uh, over two months, right? A little over two months. Where our we go back in on uh, March thirtieth. Okay. Now this is good. This is the good. That's the good news because I assume that this was not going to go any longer than the time that was allotted to it in the first place. And uh, I had scheduled my radiation treatments for the prostate cancer to start on Monday. And they will be Monday and then Wednesday and then Friday. And then uh, the following week, they will probably be Monday and Wednesday and then no more. That's it. Okay. And then about two weeks later, I have to have these seeds implanted in my prostate and that uh, will be an in-and-out procedure, okay? Um, and so consequently, that it'll take about, oh, it'll be, take about a period of, of about, let's see here, three and a half, four weeks for me to get all the treatment I need for this prostate cancer. And then that's over with. So that takes us to the beginning of... Uh, Oh, just I maybe the third week in in February if if I if I'm adding up correctly, okay. Uh, so um, uh, by the time we go back into trial, I will have had all my stuff, okay. Well, let me explain something else that happened before I go on with this whole deal. Something else that happened. Uh, everything happens all at once, right? So uh, I went and got my yearly tooth cl teeth cleaning, or yearly, my once every quarter tooth cleaning. I don't know why dentists want to do it every quarter. I think it's that there's more money in it for them because the insurance companies will only do two a year. All right, so you're paying for the other two. Anyway, uh, so where were we? Okay, so... I go and I had this one tooth that was kind of, a, it was kind of getting, it was kind of, um, felt like something was stuck in there, and then it got better, uh, so I didn't have that problem anymore. So the uh, the the dentist said, uh, "Let me take a look at that," and she looks at it and she says, "Oh, that's a filling that's coming loose back there, and it's in a tooth where it's really." She always says this close to the nerve. Every time she looks at a tooth, she says, "Well, it's close to a nerve," you know. I said, well, what do we do if you get in there and it's too close to the nerve? She says, well, we got to do a root canal. Now, she, she's a good dentist. She's not ready to go do a root canal if she can somehow patch the tooth up. So if it has to go to root canal, get this, okay? My schedule for the next couple of weeks are radiation one day, <laughs> root canal the next day, <laughs> right? I mean, come on. Cut me a break here somewhere. And then in the middle of all of this is this Michigas with a trial. So let's get back to the trial. See? So I don't know if I'm going to be with you next week. I have no idea what this is. Supposedly the only side effect I will have of the, of the uh, radiation is a, a, an urge to go to the bathroom more often, okay, and uh, a... Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, a slight, slight uh, what do they call it? It's mild fatigue. Mild fatigue. They describe it as mild fatigue. Well, considering I'm very fatigued all the time, mild fatigue actually might be an improvement. I think I will be able to do some programs. I, I'm not questioning that. Uh, but I may find that I have to. And I may find that I got used to only doing one show a week, and that's kind of nice. Anyway, back to the whole court thing. Um, this is a, 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 a situation which we got dragged into, kind of, because of um, the fact that we were renting this apartment. Um, beyond that, I can't say what went on at the, at the trial, but the fact is we were dragged into it and we're the only party in the whole thing that isn't being accused of any kind of, oh, I don't know, improprieties. You know, uh, the suit against us, which I think is, is public, and I can say that, is uh, to try and uh, 
to get us out of here, not by the landlord, but by the person who was renting the apartment. And that's the only real action that's being taken against us. And yet that wound up costing us $65,000 so far, so far to take care of. Okay? Um, now, I got to tell you, if, if I knew it was going to cost 65000 I probably would have told Marjorie, let's just cut bait and run. Let's get the fuck out of here. You know, who, who wants to pay that kind of money just to stay in this apartment? But now that we've, you know, inch by inch, it's cost us more and more. A lot of this we've paid off already, okay? But inch by inch, it has cost us this money. And so we get to this point, and it's kind of like, you, you know, you, you, you can't cut bait and run because you've got too much invested in it. So now you got to, you really got to roll the dice because, I mean, we could very easily lose this thing. We could also very easily win it. Uh, but... Uh, the fact of the matter is that neither of those things, uh, uh, you know, it, it's still all a crapshoot. You never know. When you go to court, when you go to trial, it's a crapshoot, all right? No matter how innocent you are or how perfect your case is, it's always a crapshoot. And uh, I was told that from the beginning. You don't want to go to trial for that very reason. You like to settle out of court, and then you know what you're going to get, and everybody can walk away happy. Well, nobody, nobody wants to settle in this case. Um, we do, you know, and I think we're fairly reasonable. But, you know, there are parties who don't want to settle. So we're going on with the trial more and more. Now I find out today, so we're going for another three days, right? Uh, one day will be probably taken up by the testimony. And probably it'll only go two days, we figure, because then there's a day of testimony of Marjorie and I. And, of course... Then there's the cross-examination by the other attorneys. Um, so uh, after that's all through, I don't know how much money we're going to get billed. All right? And then we're told that after the trial is over, the judge doesn't make an immediate decision, but he also asks for a memorandum stating what our case is and what we believe to be the case law involved in that. Well, that's another five, ten thousand dollars worth of work on the part of a lawyer. So there's even more money, even if we're waiting for you know it, the money just keeps getting piled on and on and on. And if we want a, um, and I think I got this right, if we want a a transcript of the entire trial, well, that's four dollars a page. And so far, it's 800 pages. <laughs> it, was a, it, was a, it was a dollar a page. It'd be 800, uh, 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 $2,400. I don't know. I, I, I may be wrong about that price. I may be wrong about that price. But still, nevertheless, it's very expensive. Now, I think that, who knows? Anyway, so all these things are possible and possible expenses that are still coming before we even get a judge to say, well, you're right and you're wrong, right? I thought it was you go into court and you, you state your case and uh, the judge looks at it and says, well, you're right and you're wrong. And okay, that's fine. And that's the end of it. But we have to get a, we have to go get ourselves a, 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 a you know, read out of the uh, a transcript. Um, you know what we should be allowed to do? People who are go to court, okay. I don't. I hate to take money away from certain people, but court stenographers. Um, we, we, you know, it would be nicer if we were allowed to tape the proceedings, and then feed that tape into a system that then turns it into text, and not have to pay anybody anything, and just have a record of the of the of the court proceedings. Um, but anyway, so it's another ridiculous expense, okay? Um, yeah, another ridiculous expense. So these are very expensive proceedings. They, they just are not fun at all. And uh, what bothers me, uh, oh, you know what I got to do? Hold on a second. I got to do something here. I know this doesn't sound nice. 
to do this. But I, I got to write my ex-wife, Ronnie. I just noticed that I'm supposed to interview her tomorrow at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So let me just send her a note here to Ronnie. Uh, Ronnie. Come on. Ronnie Bennett. There we go. All right. And then um, uh, uh, tomorrow, um, Saturday, I'll just say Saturday. Um yeah, and then I go, um, um, let's see, I'm doing 4 p.m., so it's 1 p.m. her time. 1 p.m. your time. Okay. I, I'm, I'm sorry, folks. I just noticed this. Uh, so, take care of that. Mm -hmm. I hope you don't want me to do it by me doing a little bit of business here. There we go. Okay. Did you hear that? The mail went out. You hear that sound? Anyway. So let me continue with what I was saying. So, you know, all of this adds up to a lot of money. And I suddenly realized that the whole judicial system is predicated on only one fact, making a lot of people who aren't being sued make a lot of money. Uh, we've got four lawyers in that courtroom. Two of them are mine. One of them is working without charging because he wants to do the best job they possibly can with the case. It was very nice of him. Uh, so three lawyers are getting paid, and they're usually paid at about four fifty an hour. Go figure that one. There we go. We got uh, thirteen hundred fifty dollars every hour. Um, oh, let's say seven hours. How much, how much money in one day are just the lawyers in that courtroom making? All right? And now the court stenographer, boy, she's going to want her little piece of the action. And before you know it, this is a very expensive process. And it shouldn't be. You know, we as a populace, we as, a, as citizens, every day, pay taxes, and we pay taxes for, among other things, our court systems. Why should they cost us so much? You know, uh, the process should be much simpler. The process should be faster. This isn't like it's, it, you know, I can see that you want to go slow where criminal proceedings are concerned because you want everybody to get the best possible um, defense that they can have. But this isn't a criminal action. This is a civil action. And quite frankly, <clears throat> to be honest with you, it's a rather frivolous civil action. This is something that, if it weren't for certain parties involved in it, could have been resolved five years ago. Okay, dare I say, five years ago. But it is not being resolved, and it is not going to be resolved until the court case is over. And then, who knows how it's going to turn out, you know? And what's going to happen in the end, and I'm telling you this right now, is it's going to send Marjorie and I to the poorhouse. We're going to have to spend our elderly years in some kind of destitution. Um, yeah, we want to see our legal fees recompensed, but we don't know if that'll happen. You know, we don't know how any of this is going to turn out. And uh, there are factors I can't talk about that, quite frankly, piss me off a little bit about the whole process and, and uh, things that are said and done in the process of going through all of this that are not something that make you very happy. It's funny because I really, I'm not, I don't want to at any point talk about the case. Okay, so I'm sticking with the judge. I'm just giving you observations about the whole process, which is a very expensive process, okay? And it should not be expensive for me. I don't have a lot of money. I'm unemployed. Uh, Marjorie is working her tail off to try and pay these expenses. God bless her. I love her for it. I can't, I, I can't tell her how much I love her for it. Uh, so, so we're... You know, we're hawking our future on this. Now, could be that when it's over with, we'll have a decent payday. But I doubt it, because let me let me give you a little a little thing here. 
there are three parties involved in this thing, all right? Uh, somewhere along the line, at least one of the parties is going to be unhappy, okay? Chances are two of the parties may wind up being unhappy with the result, whatever that result is. I mean, it could be us, we're unhappy, uh, or the landlord is unhappy, or the guy who rented us the apartment is unhappy because he doesn't like the decision. And so what do we do? We go to um, um, media, not mediation, but what is it uh, uh, when you when you want to? Uh, um, I'm trying to remember the word. I'm uh, it's uh, it's it, I'm losing the word here. Somebody help me out there if you're online. Uh, uh, it's uh, called um, uh, arbitration. No, it's not arbitration. It's mediation. Um, uh, well, a appellate. It's an appeal. So, so at least one, if not two of the people involved in this who will be unhappy with the result will take this to appellate court. Guess what, folks? That's another $25,000, $30,000, okay? I mean, this just goes on and on, and there's got to be some modification in this system, especially, you know, um, I'm lucky. We have, uh, Marjorie has a loan that we, we take out against to pay for this thing. Uh, we have kind of the wherewithal to take care of it up to a point, and then we spend the rest of our life in destitution. Uh, but there are people who don't even have that. And yet they then have to defend themselves, not in a, in a criminal action, right? Not in a criminal action, but in a civil action, which this is, okay? Uh, what could even be, in many cases, a frivolous action. But that it can't be determined till it's all over. So it, it, the question is, what are you going to, you know, it, it, people who would then get caught in the middle of a frivolous uh, action, and this for us is a frivolous action, um, wind up having to pay a lot of money for, for defending something that they really shouldn't have to. And if in the end uh, we, we say, okay, well, we prevailed and we won and everything is wonderful, now we want our legal fees back, try and collect. Okay, I mean, it just go, it goes on and on and on. There's no, the, the, there should be a simpler way of handling this. Uh, and there just isn't. And it's sad and it's pathetic and I'm caught up in the middle of it and it may wind up, you know, putting us into destitution where we had enough money to take care of ourselves in our old age, but we won't. Because of this stupid, silly little thing that's going on that I can't talk. I can't even get my money's worth out of it by talking about it to you. A lot of you know what it's about because I've talked about it before, but now the judge says I can't talk about what went on, so I can't tell you what went on in court. All I can tell you is that uh, I'm being upstaged. This trial, in this trial, I am being upstaged. Oh, I don't have my, my, my liquid. Oh, well. I'll go get it when the, we get people on here. Um, I'm being upstaged. How's that, Alex? Well, I, I'm in show business. I don't like being upstaged. I like my trial to be the only important thing going on. on but right down the, about half a block away, there are just a mass of reporters. I mean... A ton of cameras just standing there waiting. And who are they waiting for? Is it Alex Bennett? I'd like to walk in front of them and go, oh, you all want to talk to me, huh? But no, no, I'm not the one they're there for. Harvey Weinstein, he's being tried right down next door to the building we're in. And in the building we're in, they're always shooting movies in front of it. Every time you look at a show, like they were shooting the FBI uh, two days ago, and today they were shooting Bull, 
okay? And these are legal shows, so they need steps of a courthouse, and so they, they bring all their gear in. They're constantly shooting the front of that courthouse. So, you know, I'm being upstaged by TV shows and by Harvey Weinstein. Oh, and by the way, in the same building as Harvey Weinstein, because these camera people are getting two, two, uh, two shots for, for their money, is uh, Cuba Gooding Jr.'s got his little trial going on. So, anyway, I'm, 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 I'm completely... It says, most likely you have to sign a non-disclosure after this, too. No, I will not sign a non-disclosure agreement. I will talk my fucking my, uh, brain out about this. What, what are they going to do? They've got all my money now. Hmm. Yeah, if they if they sue me for the non-disclosure agreement, if I get one, then I have to get another lawyer, and then it's another hundred thousand dollars while I try to defend myself against it. You know, it it, it the the system's got to change, folks. The system's got to change, especially for the little guy. And I am the little guy. I mean, I know you find that somewhat laughable, but I am the little guy. Let me see here. Where's my Skype? I forget where all this stuff is because I haven't done this in a week, and I haven't done it in a week. It, like, causes me all kinds of sorus, as they say. Okay, come on. There we go. There you Skype is finally loading in, and I will turn the Skype on. Okay, there we go. All right. Um, let me see here. I was listening, by the way, to... Uh, uh, to Jack Bishop just a few moments ago, and he was making prostate jokes, and I don't find any... I've suddenly not found my prostate very funny, okay? It hasn't been treating me well. By the way, do I look better tonight, folks? I think I probably do. You know why? I went out and bought something. I don't know why, but I, did, I bought this. See that? That's a key light. Does that look good? Huh? Let me see here. Here comes uh, here comes Phil. Uh, let me see here. Let me. Uh, uh, well, yeah, he's he's already uh, he he's in his old place. Okay, so we're okay with him. Uh, let me see here. P -p 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 there he is. There's Phil. Hello, Phil. How are you? All right. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Why why have you got your camera in a weird place? Uh, I'm on my uh, iPad. You're on your iPad? Yeah. Um, I bought a, uh, a mixer, and it, it came today uh, because the old one is... Uh, so here, uh, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, there's the new little mixer. Mm -hmm. And down there is the... One that almost caught on fire. The personas. It almost caught yeah. on fire. What do you mean? Why? Why did it almost catch on fire? I smelled. Um, I smelled the uh, the smell of like burning uh, wires. It must have been the uh, uh, the board mm -hmm. was uh, melting down. And then uh, uh, I used it on Saturday. On Sunday, mm -hmm. it was off. I flipped the switch a couple times and then said, how, how, oh, that's where the smell's coming from. How much did you pay for this piece of shit? Uh, about 1300 bucks. Oh, yeah. I got one here. It cost me about 219 and it works just fine. That's how much the one with the tube uh, uh, You paid way too much for that one with the tube. Those, you, you those you, that, that style you can get for like 100, uh, 100 and change. Oh. It's got wood on the sides. <laughs> oh, oh, that's nice. Like, yeah, we care. Yeah, yeah, that really improves the acoustics, doesn't it? Yeah, well, there's a tube uh, that you can assign to either the microphone or the channel. And uh, it's supposed to give you a warm, uh, warm and fuzzy feeling. So, yeah. Oh, boy. You're, you're a yeah. sucker for anything. Hey, uh, they got it here in, uh, today, but I was busy this uh, all day today, and I couldn't make it home to have them help me hook it up. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I mean, uh, well, who's going to help you hook it up? It's not difficult to hook those things up. Uh, well, because I want the uh, 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 Mix Minus uh, for the Skype, 
And so, and then uh, I, I'm not sure. They, it's free. Phil, I have it's never, mi I have never mixed minus in my life, and I do just fine. Yeah. Okay. But uh, in, in the meantime, uh, I bought it from a place called Sweetwater, and uh, uh, part of their deal, I guess that's why it's 10 bucks more than yours, is uh, they help you uh, uh, put it together and fix it up. And they'll probably say, what the fuck is Mix Minus? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I, bet you, I bet you they do. All right. All right. I'll take that bet. Yeah. Anyway, I got to go get uh, my... So mm. you, um, uh, this morning... You must have been really bored. I mean, <laughs> bored beyond. Uh, yeah, beyond I, I, I sent you a, a, a message. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, we, 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 you answered my messages too, which means that you were really bored. <laughs> you know, I, I the first day I said to my lawyers, I said, I know what you get paid for. I said, they said, what? I said, boredom. Yeah. I, I, either that or having to have rapt attention about boring stuff so that you don't miss anything, you know? You know, I figured after I had to go to work and uh, couldn't text back and forth anymore, you were so bored you were probably texting Tony. No, so. no, 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 no. That, that, that would be the height of boredom. Um, don't you remember Tony is working? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He, uh, he's, he's working the system is what he's doing yeah but anyway so um uh no i was i i i i gotta say it, it's pretty boring the whole the whole mess you know occasionally uh somebody's up on the stand that you care about you know like yeah. the guy who's suing us and you want to hear what he has to say and whether certain lawyers are nailing them or whatever you know uh and so that that's interesting but then they bring in the guy who did the hardwood floors. You know, <laughs> That's like and, me. And, 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 and if, if it were just a guy coming in to talk about the hardwood floors or, you know, the, uh, the ceiling fans or the whatever, and then he was out of there, fine. But no, there's cross-examination. So, you, <laughs> well, you, know, you know, you're stuck you know with a guy, a guy who put in the hardwood floors for like, you know, f four hours. You know what they're trying to prove? They're trying to prove that the guy added value to the unit. I can't talk now, about that. Even though it's not I his can't, value. I can't, oh, okay. I can't talk about that, Phil. Yeah. I, can't yeah. talk, I can't talk about anything that went on. I may have said I too much. You to talk well, about I may it. have said too much when I said the guy who installed the hardwood floors, but I don't, yeah. you know, I don't think that's, you know. What I don't get about it is why we can't talk about it when any of you could walk in the courtroom and heard everything that was going on. And and uh, and he, those you could then go home, go on the air, and tell everybody what went on in that courtroom, and you're not bound by that by the judge. Was is this guy a real judge, or does he think this is the uh, uh, Mueller <laughs> investigation? Um, uh, uh, let me see here. Uh, 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 he uh, he he he's a he's a real judge, you know. Um, but um, you know, I mean, uh, the the problem with judges is that they're not all experts in every aspect of the law. And so therefore they, you know, they have to look up case law and things like that in a particular case. Like, you know, this guy, I don't know if he's, if he knows landlord tenant law. I mean, I, he may, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying this is a, a pointing this out as a, a possibility, yeah. but he, you know, he may not know that. And so therefore, uh, he has to rely on other people to give him information. And, uh, you know, and I don't expect him to know every aspect of the law, but yet he is sitting in this dumping ground for every kind of case that would come along, you know. Well, that's, that's why they, your lawyer charged you $12,000 to prepare a brief uh, so that they presented that, mm -hmm. and then they, they'll, they'll work on those facts They'll work on the facts as presented oh, no, by no, no, the no. other. No, that brief, that brief was for another thing that happened a long time ago, in which the guy was acting, a, asking for uh, for uh, court relief so that he could just, yeah. you know, the, so what? so we had to write. He had to write up this. He wrote up what essentially was a book on our case and and told the judge why and so on and so forth. I don't know if the judge ever read it, 
Uh, but now, if this case, when this case is over, he's going to have to write another one. Now, I yeah. said, can't you just turn in your old paper, as it were, <laughs> for, for this? And he went, no, because a lot of new evidence has been presented in this case, in the, in the court case, so therefore we have to rewrite it. Now, he may go back and use a lot of that, you know. Yeah, but, cut uh, and paste. Cut and paste, but... I mean, it's just, it never stops. It is just, it is, it is, and it's, you know, as I say, it's, it's driving us to the poorhouse, you know. And even if we prevail, let's say the judge comes down and says, Alex, you are, you and Marjorie, you have been so put upon. Here, you, you get a million dollars. Let's just say he's, that won't then happen. Yeah. yeah, then I got to go collect it. You know what that, well, you know what that you involves? This. Getting more lawyers to right. sue. Let me ask you this. Let's say uh, you, you don't prevail. And the, uh, uh, the attorneys that you've paid all of this money, are they going to give you a percentage towards the divorce? <laughs> maybe. 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 <laughs> you know. Yeah. You know, fifty percent of this is rebate, rebateable yeah. to the divorce uh, attorney. Kevin Stopper writes: the uh, appeal will cost you. Of course, it will, Kevin. Every aspect of this <laughs> is going to cost me. Even an email costs you. Yeah, mm. you know. Um, so I mean, it's I just I just I just you know I, it's just it's insane. It's just you insane. know I need to raise my prices. You know, if if there's people out there. It'll pay money for this. They'll pay a little bit more for floor covering. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, but this is, you know, this is insane. And I think something's got to be done about this. I mean, I, I, we always talk about the criminal system and and making it just and so on. We've got to do something about the civil system. See, you don't know. you want the death penalty now? What for? <laughs> In for the civil system. What for lawyers? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh no. For for yeah. For lawyers. <laughs> for lawyers. Yeah. Uh, no. I. Uh, you know. I mean. I mean. I like our lawyers. They're they're terrific guys. But come on. You know. They. they, they uh, and and uh, this other guy, this uh, boss uh, guy, who runs the place. When I wrote him and told him that I felt that you know we're not made of money, guys. You know this is getting ridiculous. Uh, because we got a bill for like thirteen thousand dollars for last month just to prepare for this, I said we're not made of money. So he said, "Look, uh, he says I'll give you a fifteen percent discount." Okay, all right. As He's he, trying to protect his investment. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And 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 uh, he said, "I will supply my services to the trial for nothing. I won't charge you a penny for it." So I've got a legal team of two lawyers there. Uh, yeah. One of which is really a scholar on this subject. So, uh, you know, he's been treating us okay. But if, if I come, if I die, <coughs> which I'm going to do, and I come back, uh, I'm going to become a lawyer. You know, I mean, it's no cross my mind. Dentist or a lawyer? Uh, no, a dentist you don't want to do. Dentists have the highest suicide rate of any medical profession going. Hey, I was a cop and I didn't commit suicide. I think I, I could get past that. No, but here's the point that I'm making is that, that uh, uh, you know, it, well, it's just it's just that. Oh, that wait, they, I'm a cop. I'll, pr I'll practice. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. But, it, you know, um, but uh, Kevin, have you been in the legal <laughs> actions? You made a comment here about. Uh, NDAs and uh, arbitration yeah. and yeah, I, I I can't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. did they sue Santa? <laughs> no, Santa sued someone else. Uh, it, yeah. it has to do with my leg. Oh, uh, I see. Okay, all right. Yeah, and it's and and my uh, in my uh, in order for me to collect, I had to not say anything anywhere about it. You know, uh, yeah, about you know, talk about the whole thing. Well, that was and, a settlement that you got. Yes, that was a settlement. Yeah. Yes. If if I if if this court case is eventually over, okay, uh, we won't need a, a court case. Uh, you know, it it, it 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 it's not like that. In other words, you 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 got you made a deal uh, with whoever the party was to pay you off, and their deal back with you was you will not disclose to anybody the, uh, how much it was for. 
and so on. It doesn't matter. Look, uh, Trump made a deal with Stormy Daniels. She she didn't. It didn't stop her from talking about it. That's know? very true. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, and, yeah. I mean, you could probably you could probably make a case for it, but same thing, you know. And for a guy, that's like, like when I left work, I had to send sign an NDA uh, to uh, collect my pension and my and my severance. By the way, that's illegal. Yeah, I know. Uh, because I, you know, when I, I, when I left Sirius XM, when I left Sirius XM, I've told the story before. Uh, they made me sign a non-disclosure agreement that I, that I wouldn't sue them for age discrimination. Mm. And I said to them, are you asking Albert to sign one of these? And they said, no. I said, then this is age discrimination. Yeah. <laughs> The only yeah. reason you're having me sign it is because I'm older. This is age discrimination, but I'll sign it, but it'll never hold up in court. You know, yeah. but because they you were saying they were saying they wouldn't give me my they wouldn't give me my severance if I didn't sign the the agreement. Oh, wow. Alex, now that you just found out how much it costs to go to court just over a rental dispute, can you imagine what it would go cost to do an age discrimination suit? Oh, listen. Uh, all I'm saying is is that. The whole thing has got to change, you know. What well, do you get? Do you get uh, AARP magazine? Um, uh, no, I don't. Yes, I do. Yes. If you get the if you get the little paper they send out, they got a whole thing on it this this month about what about the EEOC and all these people that are pulling that shit nowadays. Really? I've been reading it, and <laughs> it's like reading my own story. It's ridiculous. Really? really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, the minute they said to me, "We want you to sign something that says you won't sue us for, uh, or you won't claim age discrimination," I said to myself, "Well, I know why I'm being fired." Yeah, I mean that's kind of strange. You know? that's yeah, kinda... well, they didn't exactly put it that way. They just said that um, I don't remember exactly what it said, but it just put it in very general terms that. In order for you to collect your severance and all that stuff, you had to sign the paper. Yeah, yeah. Signs the papers, old man. Signs the paper so you don't get your money. What, what are you pulling out? The extra parts for your mixer? Oh no! Um, uh, t uh, yesterday I went to the camera store. Mm -hmm. I was going to. They they said they would make an offer to buy my gear, and mm -hmm. so I decided. All right, I'll entertain their offer, mm -hmm. and. Uh, it, it was entertainment. Uh, you know, I couldn't stop laughing after they gave me the price. Oh, okay. So yeah. uh, I don't think I'm going to be a Leica shooter anytime soon. I'm going to continue this to shoot my Nikon stuff, which is good enough. Yeah, know? yeah. Well, I, you know, by, by the way, I showed you the thing I, I bought here. Look at this. Oh. Watch this. Oh. Oh. oh, did you get a light? You got a key light. Oh, Don't I look better? Yeah, different color. Yeah. Almost. Well, I can I can set the color temperature on here. So, okay. oh, it's is it LED? Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't get hot. And... Yeah. I don't think it gets hot at all, or if it does, so you only have uh, how many LEDs are in it? I have no idea. It's it's covered. So. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. I. I decided, Next, you're going to want soundproof. Uh, well, soundproof. well, I got tired of the fact that I was only lighting me, myself through lights in this room. And, yeah. and and really what you got, folks, was was this. Uh, was, this is the way it used to be, you know. So it's not as good, and it's, you know. It, it, but yeah. here, I do this. Well, now you don't have the shadows yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, under the hat and stuff like right. that. Well, here comes Bree. Uh, yeah, but... Setting up the old Alexa in the house too. Uh, oh really? Yeah, yeah, so I I can go Alexa, turn up the light to a hundred percent. Stop. Go oh. home. Don't listen to that. Go home. Oh, the <laughs> office light. Sorry. <laughs> what what what, what, what Bree? Go home. We say Lexi. We say Lexi. We never say the real word because many other people have those devices and they're active. Yeah, I know. Well, mine I don't I don't have Lexi. a keyed. I don't have a keyed. With Alexa, by saying Alexa. Yeah. You stop. Go home. <laughs> You've got that echo. Every time you say that, i got to say it to five of my devices. So. Alexa, what time is it? Stop. <laughs> go home. Are you, You're not in Thailand anymore? No, I'm not in Thailand. 
Uh, Why don't you move your camera a little bit so we can see your whole face? All right. Just give me a minute. Yeah. Um, just okay. Happy Chinese New Year to yeah, everyone. That's great. <laughs> well, I, actually, it, 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 it's called the Lunar New Year, actually. The only place yeah. we call a Chinese New Year is here in America. Um, yeah. It's Chinese New Year everywhere. Right. Hey, hey, I've I've guy, and Tony, uh, what YouTube. do you do on what do you do on on Chinese New Year? I order Jinx. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I didn't order it today. It's politically perfect. Hey, I found some our garbage. Our garbage, garbage collector just <laughs> shook me down for a red packet. Oh yeah, well, you, my wife passes the red packets around her office. <clears throat> Oh yeah, yeah they you got to get them ready, or else. Yeah, because they, they they and they don't mind it at all. That's their their thank you for you know the job you're doing and whatever. Let me see here. Here's a Ray hey, Renati. Yeah, hey, Ray Renati. I'm American. Let me see here. Uh, hi. Let me see here. Uh, what, what, oh uh, no, that's Bree. Uh, this guy. Yeah, there we go. I have to uh, remember what name you use. Okay, there's Goomba. Ray Renati. There's Ray. Hello. Yeah, he's he's, out, he's out walking around again. I'm out. Your man on the street. Yeah, <laughs> working out, working out. Just walking the doggy. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. you know, Alex, you were saying about uh, the age discrimination mm -hmm. and the uh, having having signing that form. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I read I read a story yesterday. There was a guy who got a settlement for a racial discrimination suit mm -hmm. and he went to the bank did you see the story he went to his bank to cash the checks and they wouldn't cash them because they thought they were fraudulent <laughs> 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 so so he's suing the bank for racial discrimination because they were payment. real so he went to the ne the next bank down the street and they cashed it for him and, but his own bank wouldn't catch it. And his lawyer says that he thinks they, why did they think it was fraudulent? Because he was banking while black. So now he's got a suit against the bank. <laughs> and so he'll get a check for that, take it to the, another bank, and they won't, he can go on like this forever. He's going to be a very yeah. wealthy man. That's awesome. No, excuse I me. Mean, I take that back. He won't be a wealthy man because by the time the lawyer gets through with his fee, yeah. Yeah. Make, we won't make a problem. The only that. one's making <laughs> two thirds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I if I had this to do over again, I would just say, yeah, let's let's just move. Fuck it, you know. Uh, but you know, we're too far into it now. So, what well, I know what you you feel like, uh, Alex, because I, I you know moved from Dubai to here and. For four months, it was good living, but now I've got a neighbor that's just impossible. And, you know, but the the inertia to have to move again yeah. so soon, it, I just don't have it. So I just have to put up with it. Yeah, you know? yeah. there's some things you just got to put up with. Uh, but, um, you know, uh, and then I've got, the, I got this whole goddamn cancer thing I got to deal with, too. You know, so it's... Uh, yeah. And, and that I'm not as worried about. In fact, everybody I mentioned this to goes, oh, that. I had a friend who had that. He's fine now, you know. Uh, so that's so you actually do just have a touch of the cancer. It, I, it gets kind of a yeah, touch of the cancer. Yeah. That's right. But it, if you don't think I'm going to make a big deal about that in court in March, you know. Well, I'm, I'm, over, I'm, 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 I'm overcoming cancer here, folks. And I won't say what kind, because if I say prostate cancer, they go, oh, that. <laughs> you know, so. Judge, it's all don't worry about it. <laughs> I mean, look, it's dangerous. There's no question about that, you know. But um, I got a, got a call from my doctor today, my, do my oncologist. They wanted me to sign a piece of paper so they could get my pathology slides. Uh, and I'm going, Jesus, they got, they're shipping my prostate all over town. You know, it's like a little bit, everybody has a little bit of me. What do you, what's that noise? Is that you, Phil? I don't think so. It's not me. Oh. Uh, what's a clipping sound? Don't know. I, oh, not. I bet it was you, Phil. All right. <laughs> What's up, I'm just working, I'm just putting this on my camera. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's Screw. the noise. Ah. Yeah. Oh, he probably doesn't hear because of his headset. 
<clears throat> hey, listen, the only, this is interesting. This is an yeah. interesting part, thing, for, thing for you to participate in. This isn't like me sitting in court today and being so bored that I actually sent you a note. <laughs> you sent you a note? Yeah. yeah. You must have. Alex. What? <laughs> you just, what? You know, you were, you were talking also about how they get paid for you know being bored and listening stuff. That's how I feel a lot of times when I'm in meetings. But lately, I just can't, like, I don't know what it is, but I can't, when I'm in meetings, yeah. I just, I get extremely bored. Because half of me is thinking, like, okay, you could write this in, in, like, two or three sentences in an email. Yeah. And I could respond to that. And yet here we are, you know, all sitting around. And I don't know what we're doing. You know, a lot of times that's how I feel in meetings. Yeah. I just hope it wasn't a meeting that you were leading. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I noticed though, as you get older, at least with me, I don't know. I used to watch a lot more programs. I find I lose interest faster now as I get old as I got older. Like you just I figure out the plot. Tony, you figure out the yeah. plot in three seconds and you go on to another one, you figure out that plot. And, you know, because you've seen there's nine plots that they have. I the knew in the Joker that when she when he was laughing at the end, he was going to say you wouldn't get it. Like I said that and everybody around me is like, how did you know that? Did you see this before? I'm like, no, that that's just what they would write. In that I case. don't even have to see the movie to know the ending. <laughs> <You know? laughs> By the way, talk to each other. I just have to go get my 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 uh, Snapple. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Have to, I don't have to know anything. I don't need to know the title of the movie. I don't need to know what it's about. I know how it ends. Well, that's because you're in the play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Bill, you didn't mention Trump with the space program today. I heard what space program. I think he named some kind of space program. Yeah, he called it Tony. No, he actually has a logo for it. it actually, looks like Star Trek. I thought I saw uh, it. It's it's a gold yeah. tee. It's Star Trek. Yeah. Really I heard did. him say that we invented the wheel. The Americans invented the wheel. I heard him say that today. And fire. And fire. Yeah, and, and fire. That's good. And Elon Musk is a great American inventor, although he's South he's African. Genius. He's a genius. <laughs> I thought he was Canadian. He's not Canadian? No, he's from South I'm Africa. I didn't know. That, so he's got that apartheid thing going. Yeah, so it's an <laughs> asshole country, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got my Snapple. Thank you. So anyway, so so I, I hope I'll be able to do a show on Tuesday. You got what? You for, you forgot your Snapple? Yeah. Oh, you're Rush Limbaugh now. Mm -hmm. I forgot my Snapple. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, from the greatest stuff on I, earth. I want a refill. You want a uh, refill? Yeah. I'm, I'm having coffee, and I'm drinking it from a glass, which is very simple. You know, I got the best coffee. What'd you get? Well, what I got is, I have to explain this. I got a brand called Wake the Hell Up. <laughs> you the call them over. And I got this coffee, and it was the best coffee I've ever tasted. Really? And then I look at it, and the name of the, of the blend is Jamaican Me Crazy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And then I looked. I looked at Amazon, and that's an actual real coffee Company. bean thing. The reason "Wake Me Up," "Wake the Hell Up" is the brand I use it because it has double the caffeine. Okay, where the others wow. don't. But I got to tell what, you, they put they the put taste? coconut in here. There's coconut in here and spices, and yeah. it is so fucking good. It's all I drink now. Oh, I'm gonna get that. Yeah. What's it called again? It, it's wake called wake the hell up. Wake okay. the hell up! But make sure you get the Jamaican me crazy blend. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. Uh, or, or you can just buy Jamaican me crazy without getting wake me wake me wake me the hell up. There's several brands of it. You know. Do they have decaf Jamaican me crazy? No, not that. Why I, would you want that? <laughs> yeah. Why would you why, why would you want decaf I, yeah. anyway? I mean, decaf. Because <laughs> it's like you know. It's like uh, yes, you can fuck me, but you can't come. Come on, I want decaf is not a good idea. You know. Hey, uh, you know, just just wait till you have all these treatments. You won't come anyway. Oh, um, forget it. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm kissing my orgasms goodbye. But I've had a lot of good ones in my lifetime, and so I'm not. You know. Yeah. Now I remember the old days. 
<laughs> hey, you know, I've lived this long. I mean, I have to pay some kind of price to get across the toll bridge, you know? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, uh, they like paying that taxes. You know, what? how yeah. am I going to miss something I don't have a, a yen for, you know? Oh, Chinese yen. Uh, you, you know, you always want what you can't have. What? You always want what you can't have. Yeah, you always want what you can't have. So I'm, yeah. But uh, but I've got my... You could just fake it. I, I've got my Jamaican me crazy. Yeah. Well, so I'm not sounds... supposed to drink coffee anymore. You're not supposed to drink no. coffee anymore? Why is that? I don't know. My cardiologist said really? don't drink coffee anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. It's giving Deep you too, too much energy? Mm. Well, it's it's probably no good for you, but uh, what is now? now uh, you know this Jamaican. I, you know when I lived in Florida, they used to have blue Jamaican coffee, uh, blue Blue Mountain Jamaican coffee or something. It was uh, and it was expensive, uh, but it wasn't strong. Yeah, well, this has this has coconut in it and spices, <clears throat> uh, just a taste. You know, just enough to give it a nice note. And I love it. I just want this stuff is terrific. Yeah. They do that when you send your food back to the kitchen to yeah. be heated up. They put some coconut and spices in it when they send it back. You know? <laughs> I don't get that joke, but I'll... Neither do I. <laughs> well, that's... Uh, if, you know, what happens is you, you send something back. Uh, send I'll say food. what the judge would have said uh, about that joke. Yeah. Uh, I'll rule on that later. Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, you know what happens when you send something back to the kitchen? They spit in your food, and then they Ooh. serve it back to you. Uh, that's why you never send anything back. Oh, and, by the way, I found out something. Uh, and, and, and again, I don't think I'm revealing anything about the trial or whatever. Uh, because I don't think I've talked about it at all here. Just, just about the process. But the judge always says on uh, many things... You know, when somebody objects, he said, well, I will uh, I will not go with the objection, but I will rule on it later. And the reason I was told they do that is because they don't want anything that's going to work in appeal. You know, <laughs> it's like this whole game, this whole dance that's done in a courtroom is just... It's a it, game. It, yeah, but I mean, it's like a dance. It's like they're doing <clears throat> ballet or something, you know? And... <laughs> If somebody doesn't phrase something properly, uh, objection, Your Honor, he didn't phrase it in the form of a question, and this is jeopardy. You know, I mean, I just, uh, oh. I just, I'm just amazed by the by the, the 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 ballet that goes on in the courtroom. Yes, Ray. I just, I am so confused as to why a tenant who is caught in the middle of two other people arguing has to spend so much money, namely you. I don't understand that. Because he wouldn't. I mean, move. it has nothing to do with you. Oh, because you wouldn't move. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Is that what it is? Oh. Well, I mean, right. that's part of it. But I mean, uh, I, I was. We were sued, so we had to counter sue. You were sued for not paying. Huh? Rent. You were sued no. for not paying rent. No. The unlawful detainer. Oh. No. Oh. No. Uh, yeah, they uh, want you to move. Well, the. I don't want to get into it. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. You better okay. watch it. Okay. They may check okay. you. Yeah. They're, 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 hey, I'm, I'm, I, th the, I think, Kevin, I've been very good about this, right? Hey, was yeah. this yeah. on court yeah. TV? Just, just, be, just, just be real careful right now, especially <laughs> when you're in true. trial. Be real careful. Yeah. So okay. I'm, not, I'm not talking about yeah, the merits of the case or what was discussed Alex, about the case or whatever. You do know, however, right. there was a guy who installs floors involved, but that's about it, you know. Yeah, because oh because now that you're in trial, they're gonna look, they're gonna look for shit, and then that one little thing will fuck you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm I, all I'm talking about. I, all I'm talking about here, ladies and gentlemen, is not the trial, but the process. You know. Well, you know, I used to install floors, and my best work was beneath me. Oh, talk God. about that. So you got a friend that installs floors. Don't I'll take about that about joke that. under advisement. Yeah, I'm sure uh, you will. Yeah. Uh, Rule on it later. <laughs> but uh, no. But I've been pretty good, right, Kevin? I haven't revealed anything about the. You know, I haven't discussed no. the court case. I just. It, I'm not a judge. I'm not going to comment. <laughs> A rule on that one later. No, I haven't so talked let's talk about, about something else. Yeah, I haven't talked about the case yeah. at all. I've just, you know, you all knew that I wasn't going to be here because of it. And I, you know, 
I, oh. I just had observations about the way in which courts work mm -hmm. and, and how frustrating the whole process is. No, you've said nothing specific about your case. I no. will vouch for that. Yeah, yeah. No, I, no. So my dryer broke down the other day. What? Ah. What? That's exciting. His dryer broke down. Your dryer broke I'm just down? just trying to change the subject. Oh, okay. You, you know, <laughs> Bree is showing this uh, emoji type thing, which is very cute. But uh, I found this uh, YouTuber uh, that walks around New York speaking English to in Chinatown, and then he breaks into perfect China. Mandarin or Cantonese. Yes, I saw that guy. I love that guy. <laughs> oh, he's great. I saw yeah. him do it in China. He, I saw him do it in China, too. He went to China and tried yeah. to speak English, and then in the middle of the conversation, he just break into perfect Mandarin, and the people draw Yeah, their jaw, jaw, jaw like, drops. <laughs> yeah. Or sometimes they pretend like they don't notice. Yeah, funny. yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, <laughs> and he's white as he's white, white, white dude. Uh, yeah. Somebody just said uh, Scott Boniker. Scott Boniker just wrote, uh, "I like Phil on his iPad because I can barely hear him." Ah, <laughs> and I can see up his nose, which is cool. Yeah, well, and I gotta cut those. Hey, you know, oh. <laughs> uh, the, re the reason he can barely hear me is that he's getting old and he's going deaf. So. You know, maybe it's time he gets uh, <laughs> going deep. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. <laughs> but you, I'm know, deep, yo. you know what also it amazes me is, uh, and again, I'm, I'm not I'm not discussing the merits of the trial or what went on in the trial, but the fact that we're coming back for the second part of this trial in two months. Yeah. How do you remember what you did last? You know. Hey. It, or it, do you just pick it up? I guess. I guess that's it. That's why you pay the thirty-two hundred bucks. Hey, uh, do, do you have? Uh, uh, who pays for lunch when you go out with the attorneys at the break? I didn't go out to uh, lunch with them. Ah, that was smart. They would have charged you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. No, yeah. I, 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 you know. Uh, I, I told you about my lawyer once, so I, I, I called up and wished him a happy birthday, and then my business manager got a bill for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Absolutely true. <laughs> oh, my God, no <laughs> Call from client. Uh, charged me 15 minutes worth for that. Yeah, during my divorce, uh, oh my, my lawyer would write me every time he'd go on vacation, mm -hmm. and I'd get a bill for that. I, I told him, I said, do I need to know when you go on vacation? This is a divorce, you know. Don't 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 let me know and don't send me a bill. Well, I'll tell you another. Oh, I'll man. tell you another case that uh, that I had years ago. I've never had and really any. I've never gone to court on a legal action. I've never had a trial, okay, uh, uh, such as this. Uh, but I did uh, have a situation in which uh, um, I. Um, uh, I, 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 it was when I was at the, the quake in uh, San Francisco, and uh, then I, I left. And oh no, though I, what, what was the suit about? The suit was about the fact oh that some new management came in, and they wanted me to start playing music instead of talking, and I had a thing in my contract which said that I had creative control over the content of my program, and they couldn't do that. Well, they were telling me I had to. So I, they went out and got a lawyer. Okay. So what we did is we went out and got a lawyer. And since I had a lot of money in, in those days, we retained for $20,000 a lawyer who's one of the guys who owned the L.A. Clippers. He's one of the biggest entertainment lawyers in the business. And in those days, 20000 was a lot of money. Didn't the guy that owned the Clippers have to sell it because of uh, no? This was this is the years later, Phil. Oh, oh. and you, you're ruining my story here. Uh, uh, right. So anyway, the point was that um, uh, what, we, what we were told by our lawyer in San Francisco is he says you got to go get a, this lawyer because they have a good lawyer, but if you get a better lawyer, they'll be frightened and they'll settle. Just hiring the guy will get a settlement. So we went and we hired this guy. I'm trying to remember his name now. Big show business lawyer. Uh, and uh, he, uh, uh, as soon as we said, okay, you're going to have to talk to our lawyer so-and-so, they went, uh, uh, we'll settle. 
Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. He, yeah, oh, yeah. Really wow. So the idea is you got to get a bigger lawyer than they got a lawyer to scare them, blah, 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 blah. You know, and it's. Can't it's, you just get a fatter lawyer instead of a, you know, a more expensive one? Well, hell, everybody else in this thing's got one lawyer. I got two. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Maybe it looks like I'm ganging up on them. I don't know. I, I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. But uh, um, it's kind of nice to have Team Bennett. You know, it, 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 it's, a, it's a nice luxury. Uh, but anyways, I, so if anybody's got a couch I can sleep on after this is all over with, uh, <laughs> because I'm going to be... I slept on your couch. I, you know, yeah. it's fair turnabout. Yeah. I, I, I maybe I have to go out and get a uh, a what do you call it a um, uh, GoFundMe. I, I'll do a GoFundMe yeah. on this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll, for a tent. We'll yeah. work for law fees, you know, or whatever. <laughs> for know. legal fees, yeah. Legal fees, yeah. It's just, it, it's very depressing. It's very depressing. Um, I, there's a, there was a point at which I was going that. I, you know, Marjorie, if you want to go to court, fine. I'm just not going to have anything to do with this anymore. You know, when you want me to testify, I'll testify because that's what I have to do. But I, I just don't want any part of this because I just it was it, it's just getting to me. You know. Yeah, but d don't. You know, the only way to win is to go across the finish line. <laughs> well, that's not necessarily the way to win. You know, I I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Justice is blind, like they say. Uh, you know, I, I don't think that necessarily, uh, if you commit a crime in this country uh, and you don't have a good lawyer, or let's say you don't commit a crime, you're accused of a crime, and you don't have a good lawyer, whether you're innocent or not, you, you're, you're, you're going to jail. You know? That's true. That's true. Although, but, you know, you can have loser breath and, and give up too soon, like, kind of like Bloomberg. Bloomberg's already planning his exit strategy, you know, and uh, what he's going to do for the other I don't Democrats. think he ever did this to run for president. No, uh, because he's already he's already looking for an out. No, uh, what did he do it for? I, I think he uh, did it to get his message across and to then take his money and go fund a lot of uh, Democratic candidates across I, I the country. I think he did it because his ego... Him no, I don't think it was ego. I, 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 no, I don't think it was ego, Phil. I think there was a there was a bigger purpose to it. He's seeing reality, and the reality is he hasn't got a, uh, a chance. No, help. but he's not. He's not. Tr he could. He could have done better if he had just decided he was actually going to campaign. But he's not going out to these various areas and actively campaigning. He's just simply well, running ads on. Wait a minute, let me finish. He's just running yeah. ads on television, <clears throat> and a lot of people feel the reason he's doing that is really he's trying to get the message across. Once he's gotten the message across, he will pull out, but he will take that money and all that television time and apply it to various candidates across the country, which he has done in the past. By the way, the reason for, uh, uh, that the that the Democrats took the Congress had a lot to do with Bloomberg and money he put into all those races. Oh yeah, I'm sure he put a lot of money into things, but I, I don't, I don't think that uh, he's he's feeling the love right no, now. No, I don't. The I, fact, the I don't reason, think. I, I don't the think. The reason he, he's not doing good is because he doesn't want to talk to the little people. You no, know? he doesn't. Uh, he's not. <laughs> he's not actively campaigning. He doesn't want to get in debates. He doesn't want to argue anyone. with the other candidates. Well, I'm sorry. That's what you got to do in order. You got to campaign in order to win. Okay, and he isn't com cam actively campaigning. And that's what the problem is. Yes, uh, Jeff. Maybe he's at the position where he's saying, you know what? There's too many people trying to become uh, the president as the, as the Democrats. And and why don't I just wait until 10 of them get out, get out of here and, yeah. and quit? And, or, and then when there's two people left, then I'll get serious. So he can wait until Tulsi Gabbard sues That's them all. Right, right now she's suing uh, Queen Clinton. Bee for fifty million dollars. Clinton, yeah, uh, fifty million. I don't see how she was hurt fifty million dollars, but you know. Well, look. Anybody can sue for anything, Phil. That's a, that's the other problem. Yeah, that's the other problem in this country is anybody can sue for anything. 
Trump's learned. Trump's been. Uh, it's been part of Trump's game plan. Although most of the time he says he's going to sue and then he doesn't. You know, it's just his, you know, his his bravado. But it's like the kid in high school that says, "I know a guy that knows karate, and you better not." Fuck yeah, exactly, with him. exactly. <laughs> uh, you know, but uh, uh, karate. Uh, the, the, the fact of the matter is that. Uh, uh, I, I think Bloomberg's game plan is probably different. I don't think that he expected that he'd be able to get any kind of traction without actually getting out on the campaign trail. You can't do. You can't phone it in. Let me put it that Rudy way. Rudy Giuliani did that uh, when he ran. Uh, he thought that he could ignore Iowa. All he needed was Florida, and that he fell on his face uh, on that on that primary. But uh, the so I. And then they're saying that anyone else who ignored Iowa and uh, New Hampshire uh, had the same fate. And what makes uh, Bloomberg think that he can do it without Iowa and New Hampshire? I, you know. And then I don't uh, think he thinks. Yeah. No. Uh, and I, don't, uh, I, don't think I agree with Hillary Alex. Clinton is coming. Back. I think I think he's just he's just setting it up so that his he, people pay attention to what he's saying. But uh, that his word can then be turned into currency for candidates. That, that's really what I think it's all about. You know, uh, it would be great if Hillary and Michelle, Hillary Clinton and Michelle Obama came in at the last minute. That would be awesome. Well, I, yeah, Hillary Clinton is setting herself up. She's coming back. Yeah, I oh, think so, God. too. Yeah. Well, I think she'd like to be asked to the party, but I don't think anybody wants to ask her because she did such a shameful job last time of running for president. Uh, Michelle Obama would be a stealth candidate, but unfortunately, I don't think she really wants the job. No, uh -uh. You know, not. she she had she had an, in a, in a way she said to Barack, "Okay, you want to be president? I'll put up with it for four for eight years." But that's it. Yeah, you know. I she think did now, say that. I remember she wants yeah. to be royalty. No, you know, you know you're always you're always a, Phil. You're no, always you're always assigning you motives. You're always there's assigning position, Phil. You're, o, you're, you're, you're always you're always you're always, you're always you're always assigning. Why are you saying that? You're always assigning motives to people when uh, you don't know that those are their motives at all. It's a, it's there's a, a position open in Buckingham Palace. Maybe she's going to apply. You oh, know? how racist. God. Believe me, I wasn't meant to be racist. Uh, he, she doesn't uh, well, need. She, so racist. Why would you? You wouldn't say that about anybody else. It's because she's she black. I said because she wants and to be And the woman who left is black. That oh, has nothing on. to do with it. She just wants to be royalty. Bullshit. She's got 150 million dollars and she's loving life. Why would she? Hey, ever listen. Want they're to get having. It? Where they're... are you getting this, Phil? You're just pulling this out of your ass. It's, I mean, it's, it's what nothing. Obama's net worth is. I believe 150 million. But there's nothing that even indicates that she wants to be royalty. She's never indicated anything like that. Yeah. Where well, she didn't want to be shit. She didn't want to be an American. She said she wasn't proud of being an American uh, when uh, oh when God. she first got in the White House. Well, True. I, 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 I've said the same thing myself. There are times I don't, I'm not proud to be an American. I, yeah. I, I'm not, quite frankly, present time, I'm not uh, proud to be an American, you know. And, and I uh, uh, certainly, if I went to another country, I, I'm sure as an American, I'd be treated terribly because of the of the reputation this country has now. So you know, I don't know that I'm that happy being an American. No, I, I you know, I, uh, what do we what do we stand for? Are you is Phil frozen? Oh no, no, oh, I'm not okay. Frozen, but Ray 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 must have gotten either pissed or lost his connection. <coughs> so uh, I just. Texted him to call back. Oh well, I, I he may have, you know, when he's walking around like that, he's walking. You know, I'm walking. Yeah, he loses connection. By the way, whatever happened to Tony? Is Tony, is, is, he's 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 like Clint Eastwood. He's is, talking to his chair. Does his mother need her? Does his mother need her? Does his mother need her ass wiped? What what is yeah. he doing right now? <laughs> you know, he ought to get a bidet. I you told know, you, he has a full-time job. Yeah. He should sell a couple of comics, get a bidet, sit her down over it, and uh, he wouldn't have to wait. Yeah. But anyway, so, you know, I mean, um, uh, uh, it, it, it's... Uh, 
you know, I, I, I just think that, uh, I, I think the problem is that the, the Democrats really don't have a candidate, you know. I think it's, uh, it's, a, it's a, and, and, and I have not been paying attention to the uh, trial. Trial. Uh, I haven't paid, paid attention to it because I haven't had time to pay attention to it. Mm. You didn't miss anything because they're just presenting the same stuff that they presented in the House. And, uh, yeah, but uh, also every time I tune on like MSNBC, it's that same marble wall I'm looking at. You know, it's kind of <laughs> it's really it's boring. They should they should change it up a little bit. You know, what marble wall? I, uh, is that there's only the, there's the only Senate? one camera. There's only one camera, and there's only one marble wall they stand in front of, and they give their little I have, speech. I have noticed them switching back and forth between MSNBC and Fox is. Fox is running commercials now. They're they're not staying on it. Where MSNBC is not moving at all. Well, I think I think that the problem with what the Democrats are doing, they haven't really mastered the art of television. Well, uh, and and have, and every time I see it, it looks to be boring as shit. <laughs> well, from what I've watched, it, it is boring. They're presenting it, you know, step by step. Every hair is being turned. And they're, you know, chronologically doing the whole damn thing over again. But they're they're doing it, you know, they're doing it not bad. I mean, they're they're shoving it down their throats. Well, they're doing exactly what they, what well, they want to be. They're shoving. doing they're doing the only thing they can do without the advantage of having witnesses. And they're not now, being interrupted either. So you know, CNN. But they're bringing and, out every every little flaw that mm -hmm. can be brought out. You know, when when. Trump screwed up. What are you supposed to be saying? They're bringing out Lindsey Graham, you know, back in the Nixon or the Clinton uh, stuff that he was saying. Now that he's count, he's you know, contradicting himself and everything else. Everything that he said before and everything's brought, you know, he's bringing all that shit back out. So they're doing they're doing okay on that end. It's just going to be interesting what the Republicans do. The the uh, uh, commentators on the uh, the. News uh, newscasts like CNN and uh, I haven't seen MSNBC, but CNN, they're saying how Adam Schiff has been so eloquent and uh, his, his, uh, he is an orator that uh, he, he's fantastic. I was thinking that they are going to say that he's the next Abraham Lincoln and his speech to the Senate was better than the Gettysburg Address. You so know? you've been watching Fox because that's exactly what mm -hmm. they're saying. <laughs> Uh, yes, I do watch Fox. Yeah, it's exactly what they're saying. Well, I didn't get that from Fox. That was my. Uh, well, it's, it sounded like it just repeated what they said. <laughs> well, well, they're saying they're. they're I, I just that's, think that's all right. That's what they're, I, you know, I that's just what think that, that say, they so. are very d approaching the danger of total tedium. Uh, maybe it's well, maybe, maybe it could well be that it's a it's a tactic because by the time the Republicans get on, nobody's going to want to hear anything from anybody. And uh, the thing that's bothering me is that you know they're all sitting around talking about how they're going to vote on the damn thing, and it's 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 almost a farce because it's almost preconceived of what's going <laughs> to happen. So didn't they say that? Almost, in the house, why then? are they going through it? But. I don't know. I, I hope some of them guys really think about what they're seeing because they're they're presenting you know pretty good case that he really fucked up in a lot of ways. And you know, as far as I can see, yeah. Well, I mean, uh, uh, but uh, you know something. What what matters here is that what's happening here is that a they're not going to pull over any any Republicans to their side. Uh, they might. Well, if they, if they Romney, uh, they might, they might. If they could get Romney, and if they could get Susan Collins, you know, these. Uh, are, I don't think Susan Collins. Would see, go, I, uh, Romney, 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 Romney could because because uh, it, it's a known fact that in um, um, Utah, um, uh, Trump is largely hated. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. and so therefore Romney is not playing with his senatorial seat that much. Plus. He's so new to the Senate that by the time he gets to re-election, they're not going to remember how he voted anyway. The uh, only guy that would run against Romney in Utah was, uh, oh, that, he was Nevada. That, that friend of yours that passed away after, uh, before he won the election. He wouldn't run for senator. He couldn't he barely won for dog catcher. Well, he won, <laughs> and, he, and he was dead. 
Can you imagine a dead guy beat you? <laughs> you know? Yeah. But anyway, I mean, uh, it, it, uh, well, also, you've got to realize that he won because of social recognition. You know. Oh, uh, you mean all the people in Nevada go to the Mustang Ranch? No, no, but he's, he's a known person. Yeah. You know, he, he has a certain celebrity. He had a certain celebrity, however yeah. tainted that celebrity might have been. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but what I'm saying is, is that, that, um, uh, you know, the Romney has nothing to lose uh, and yeah. probably everything to gain because they say Utah does not like Trump. And they don't like him for a very important reason. They're Mormons and they find him immoral. Yeah, I thought Utah was but heavy for, uh, for Republicans. It is, but they don't like Trump They because they don't like his morality. And well, the morality is a he... bullshit excuse because look at all the morality down. You know, there's so much other... There's so many other groups that are that are, that should be doing the same thing that don't like his morality, but they just look at away. They look away. He spoke in front of the pro life uh, conference today. Yeah, and, what a bunch and, of horse shit. Well, you don't think that. Uh, well, what's interesting is Utah? is him speaking before a pro life uh, group and him barely having a pulse. So yeah, well, yeah, it, but in seriousness, I think that's going to uh, go to his base, and it's going to pull the Republican base, maybe in Utah as well. He's only doing that for votes. I he think couldn't he's doing care it less. He believes it. He couldn't he, care less. He didn't abort any of his kids. He couldn't. Oh, that's obvious because it. Looked, you don't yeah, know that he didn't, Phil. Yeah, you don't know that. Well, I got to ask Stormy Daniels. You don't know. He that couldn't that care less. Time. You don't know that he hasn't paid for a few abortions in his time. Yeah, uh, and I guarantee you he I couldn't have. care less. Yeah. 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 I, you know, I have, and I can't even believe they slept with me. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I, pay, I paid for an abortion once, and it was my own. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, they missed. They missed, mm. yeah. Uh, but, I mean, uh, 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 the fact is that... Uh, the, the the trouble that's happening in this whole case is I think they're boring the American public. The tedium is setting in. And you don't want this to get tedious. I I do think that there's something wrong with holding what's called a trial and then not calling witnesses. I, I've never heard of such a thing. They're not at that point. But Lindsey uh, Graham <laughs> said that uh, what's happening is that they're repeating the same thing four and five times, and they could have cut cut it down just by doing it, you know, once or twice, and that would have uh, cut the uh, time down. They're saying that the Republican side is going to be a lot shorter. Uh, we'll see. Yes, uh, uh, Mary the Patriot writes, Donald J. Trump, he, he's very proper about Donald J. Trump because he'd, that, that's to, Donald because he, Trump. Be, because he'd like to suck his dick. Uh, won Utah's six electoral votes with 2,004 more votes than Hillary Clinton. Yes, that was then. This is now. Now they have taken polls and find that the people in Utah do not like Don, Donald Trump. Okay. Yeah, but they were saying the same things in '16 that they're saying now. You know about uh, the adultery and the this and that and the other thing. You know. Well, uh, so I, don't I don't know. know you know, I I, I I think it it's it's consistent with their with their religion that they find him to be immoral, you know, and, and as well should the Baptists and everyone else, because he is a highly immoral person. Yes, Jeff? I think the most important part at this point is whether or not we have a bunch of witnesses who are willing to come and, uh, and answer questions. Yeah. Do you believe that the president talks to his advisors and they may talk about stuff uh, uh, theoretically that uh, should stay within the White House, what they call executive privilege, which is part of being the president, and therefore... Well, well you can't uh, call executive privilege on something that might be a crime, Phil. No, I understand, but, you know, you, you can talk about <clears throat> stuff, and it's not necessarily a crime, but uh, what it does is they're trying to weaken his position in the presidency by getting others to get other countries not to trust him when he uh, when he says something, because they don't know whether it's going to be shared. With well, or to begin with, we don't know what uh, what's his name. Um, who who is the former? Um, uh, 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 oh, uh, it starts with a B. Uh, yeah, Bolton. Was, uh, Bolton. Bolton. Yeah. Well, we don't know what Bolton would say. Uh, I don't I, think he'd say anything. Well, I, we don't know. We just don't. Well, know. He wrote a book about it. 
Well, he yeah. is. Yeah, he's got a book coming out. So the question yeah. is, would he testify by answering? It's in the book. It'll be in the book. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, yeah. I, I think he's going to have to claim executive privilege because these things are executive privilege. Sorry, and, but know, I don't think he, I don't think he would. I don't think we. Off. I don't think he would volunteer, Phil, uh, to testify if he was just going there for grins. Okay. Yeah, but maybe he's going there to promote his book. And he's not going to say anything, but it's going to, he's going to try to... Well, but the, the, he, he's a wild card. However, uh, this guy uh, uh, from the Ukraine, this uh, guy who uh, was working with Giuliani... Oh, uh, Flavor Flav? What? Flavor Flav? Or, uh, uh, live, Lev? Flavin or something like that? Yeah, Flavor Flav. That's that uh, rapper with the clock. I know, I know, I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is not a I will take that joke under advisement, too. For uh, <laughs> take them all. Yeah. You, you'll use them tomorrow anyway. No, I won't. No, <laughs> no. Believe me, that's the one thing you have that I don't want. Anyway, <laughs> that and that cheap ass mixer you bought. But anyway. Hey, you wait. I bet you this mixer's going to sound great. And, and I'm going to sell that other piece of shit for a thousand bucks, and I'm going to be done with it. Here, and it's going to be brand new. I think they're going to send me a new one. You know, because for two hundred and fifteen dollars, they will do anything that's needed and send it back to me at no charge uh, for two hundred and fifteen bucks. So I'm, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, you said for no charge at two hundred and fifteen bucks. How's that for no their, charge? That's their bench charge for an out of warranty repair. And it doesn't matter if it's the power supply, the board, they'll fix everything. Well, it's like what happened with my, uh, with my, uh, with your Apple, with right. my Apple here. You know, they, they, <laughs> I took it in, they charged me $400 to fix it. It still wouldn't work. So they then sent it down to be fixed and uh, to Texas well, and, and, first. and, and, and then, <laughs> uh, replaced a lot of the parts and it came back and it still wasn't working. So they had to send it back. They replaced almost every part in this machine. I have a brand new machine here. And it only it cost me 450 bucks. It was cursed. That was a left turn. Yeah, it was cursed. But you see, the thing is, they got a... What do you mean it was a left say, turn? For this, for this machine, Phil. it's $215 Phil. and no extras. And, uh, and they guarantee... This is getting as boring work. as the Senate uh, uh, speeches. Hey, hey, you know, it's no more boring than your Apple. You know? Well, no, I was just saying that, you know, when you talk about the fact that you can get something for next to nothing because they keep repairing it as a policy that Apple has, that if it, you bring in something to be repaired and then you take it back, and even if they repaired something but the thing still didn't work because they didn't repair the right thing, they will keep working on that thing until, without charging you, yeah, until they've got it uh, fixed. Yeah. And in my case, they replaced, I think, everything except for the power supply and the uh, the... the uh, uh, memory card. I think it is my power supply. Jeff had his hand up. Yeah. Yeah. I just I just had my computer crash uh, about a week ago, and it had all kinds of problems. Yeah. And I brought it in, and like you say, it was, you know, fifty bucks, five hundred dollars. Yeah. They they took it away to to Texas. That's where they send it, Texas. Yeah. To Texas, I think I dropped it off. Like at night on Thursday, and at Monday it was done. All dead computers go to Texas. I guess so. Yeah. Well, the thing yeah. is that they uh, they they and they clean it up. It looks great. It looks like a brand new. Computer. Oh no, they they do a very good job down there. But they didn't do do a good job with mine. It still had a problem. They had to send it back. So I I almost threw this thing away. Uh, you know when it when it when that happened that I knew it was out of warranty. I was gonna. We have a thing in the apartment building for uh, for uh, electronic waste. I was going to take it down there and throw it away, but I decided to call Adorama. Adorama told me to call Personas. I talked to Personas. They said, yeah, 215 bucks will fix it. So uh, I'll get it back in a brand new box, and it'll go on eBay as fast as I can when it comes back. Yeah, and you're going to keep that piece of shit you've got now? Well, we'll see how it sounds. With the power tube? <laughs> Yeah, the power tube. You don't get. You're going to be jealous that I got a tube and you don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see how it sounds, you know. <laughs> but uh, it's got uh, real VU meters, uh, analog VU meters. Very cool, old school. Really? Yeah. yeah. 
Anyway, so I, uh, um, uh, as I say, I was passing by, uh, uh, we went to lunch and passed by the courthouse next to the one we were in, and there were all the news people, all the photographers. There must have been a hundred cameras there. Did you tell them that you slept with Weinstein? But here's the thing I don't get. (laughs) Why don't they all get together, pool their resources, hire one guy to have a camera there, and then all share the footage. It's not all going to be the same footage, except maybe an angle off a little bit, you know? It's a matter of who owns the footage. Well, what I'm saying is if they all, like, pulled the resources and said, we all own this footage, you know, because we all paid for the guy to go down there, yeah. you know? Yeah. What if they get a scoop, and then the guy who got the scoop says, fuck all you guys, sue me, I'm going to put it on the air, you guys get nothing. You know, this way they have some. No, down no, there. no, but it's ridiculous. It, to begin with, it plugs up traffic, it blocks the sidewalks. It, it, I got to tell you, it was a madhouse. There were there were camera people literally on top of each other, you know, and they all they were sitting there waiting for something to happen. Who knows? Weinstein may not have come out for another hour or two. You know, sounds like uh, Trump Tower. Yeah. Oh, well, Trump Tower, that cost New York City $200,000 a day. You know, you could probably get a deal on one of those apartments right now. Believe me, <laughs> uh, a lot of people are taking a shellacking on their apartments. In that yeah, I'd like to live there. Yeah, well, it's, you know, they, they, the fact is they, you know, it's, it, that's considered bad property now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, in fact, all his properties have taken a hit. Um, uh, the, uh, what was it, that place where he wanted to hold the uh, G whatever summit? Uh, Mar-a-Lago. No, not Mar-a-Lago, the other place. Oh, Doral. Doral. Doral supposedly has been taking a shellacking. Uh, it's, its business is down 60%. I thought the only people who stayed at Doral were old Jews. I don't know. And I think, I think also Mar-a-Lago is down a great deal as well. Uh, also, uh, we had some friends who lived in one of those Trump apartment houses in Trump City, and they petitioned and got to take the sign down. They didn't want Trump on the building because they said yeah, it was lowering their property values. What did they rename it? I don't know. Uh, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> He'd go crazy. <laughs> Kennedy. Uh, yeah, but I mean, you know, I mean, what a what a deal that was, you know. Uh, Trump City is located what on the East River or where? where, where East is... River. It's like uh, down. Uh, it starts around Fifty Seventh, I think, and winds its way up to about oh seventy or something like that. I don't know. How is that. is that where Hell's Kitchen is? N- no, Hell's Kitchen's below Fifty Seventh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, um, and uh, but uh, yeah, he just he developed that area, you know. That was his other big claim to fame. Although uh, a lot of it had to do with other people actually putting the money out and just putting his name on the buildings, you know. So it's called OPM, other people's money. Yeah, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. He was very good at that, you know. So it's a good thing to do. Yeah, he also lost OPM. <laughs> they never get it back. What is, well, it's better what, than what, what losing is, your what own money. What is Bree money? doing? All we do is we have just have Bree's hand and the top of his <laughs> his iPad. Hello, have Bree. You been following Stephen Pearl and and uh, Tony Bennett's hand. What? Uh, on Stephen Pearl on his Facebook page has something he calls Tony Bennett's hand. And he talks he talks to Tony Bennett's hand without him in the picture. Oh, it I just see. goes like. Yeah, so it's Tony Bennett's hand. He's oh. been doing it for months. Oh, I have to check that out. I, <laughs> yeah, uh, but I'm I'm so out of it. I mean, I'm just uh, tired. I'm exhausted. I mean, it's just been an exhausting. Hey, Bree. Yeah, lamb yeah, chop. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna lamb chop here. The lady used to do that. Yeah. With the it's, hand it's, it, it's been an exhausting week. I'm telling you, uh, emotionally in every other way. But mostly the boredom. Yeah. yeah. Like I said earlier, for the uh, for the audience that you got now, you were so bored, you called me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, what happens is, is they all they all start. They're always objecting 
to the way a, a sentence was fr- uh, was uh, you know what I'm talking about, Kevin? That that's how they make their money. Yeah. Uh, uh, objection, Your Honor. Uh, he didn't. You know. Uh, if the guy didn't object, you'd say, "Hey, how come you didn't object at all?" You know. Yeah. He's not answering the question directly. He's a- 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 offering a- additional information. You know, crap like that. Hey, Bree, I'll take a check. You don't have to give me a red envelope. <laughs> this is the uh, the neighborhood WhatsApp group. Everybody sends it around. Oh. Uh, so the the red five, envelope? You know, I got 500 uh, Happy Chinese New Year messages here. Oh, uh, any money? Uh, don't they put money in those things? Yeah, but three eights, I don't have funny. that. I don't have it because you got to log in and have a bank account and all that stuff. Marjorie, uh, Mar- Marjorie on, on uh, Lunar New Year Red does pretty well. Shop. Does pretty well. She hands out the red envelopes, you know, and uh, they come back with some pretty decent amounts of cash in them. You know. What's in her envelopes? Oxy? Huh? What's in her envelopes? Oxy? And then they pay her with cash back? I, I don't understand what you're saying. Uh, drugs. What, she puts drugs in the envelope, Oxycontin. And it gives it out. Where would she get oxycotton from? What, what, what drug was she doing for her pain? I don't know. Uh, Delodin. Some. No, there was something no, else Delodin. she was doing. Oh, it, what's the drug company, Purdue Pharma, that got closed down? What were they selling? Chickens. No, no, not that <laughs> Purdue. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, you, you put it. You put a couple of. I wonder is that Purdue in. is that Purdue related at all to the chicken people? No. 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 You never know. I mean, sometimes you find guys are making, you know, Oxycontin and chickens. You know, it's, 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 it's you got to do something with the feathers. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, let me see here. What else has been happening this week? Uh, the, the Grammys are tainted. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yes, says, uh, Jeff. I, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, I just got my information from my free lawyer, Pam, mm-hmm. and she said, keep your mouth shut. Do what the judge tells you to do. Oh, no, I'm not talking about the case at all. But I, yeah. I am talking about the way things are in a courtroom. I think that's per- perfectly within within reason. You know, I, Hey, hmm? isn't that great, Jeff, can sleep with a lawyer and, uh, and, and uh, you know, that's better than... Oh, yeah, she, yeah your, wi- your wife is a lawyer. Yes. You know, I, I mean, you know, what what better thing in life you could you have than your own lawyer? You know, <laughs> yeah. I, I forget that she's a lawyer because she's so nice. Uh, <laughs> She'll send you a bill. <laughs> yeah. But I think I can talk about, you know, procedure in a courtroom lawyer. and what goes on she, in a courtroom. I'm just I think not Jeff's talking. right. She said, don't talk, don't talk. I, I think he's right. She says, if you have any question. Ask your attorney what you should say and not say. No, he I'm, just yeah. said you are not to talk about the case to anyone. So I'm not you know, talking, I haven't talked about the case. Well, okay. you, yeah, but they could be listening. You know, <clears throat> we could talk about my mixer. And, you know, <laughs> I don't understand why they would issue a gag order for something that has no relevancy to the world at large. I, I, like I question that. I question why he would make that admonishment when it's an open courtroom where whatever went on in the courtroom, other people could hear and talk about, you know. <clears throat> this judge it's might be so what you senile. say. Don't, don't, he, don't talk about thinks, it no more. He thinks it's a different case. You're right. <laughs> right? Yeah. He thinks it's a different case. I, I he, don't, he don't know where he's at. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm honoring what the judge said. I have not talked about the case at all. All right. But I've talked about being bored to tears while sitting in a courtroom, and I don't think that's talking about the, the merits of the case or what went on with the case or anything like that, you know. You should have said it was so exciting. Yeah. And I think, <laughs> I think, I think it, it's worthy of a discussion about the, the, the judicial system and how much it costs to go through it, you know, and how much is being charged by various people. And that I'm I'm beginning to look at it as a scheme to get a whole bunch of people rich except for the people that need it the most. You know. That's what every time you gotta go and get a lawyer, that's what it's the only persons that win are the lawyers. Yeah. And uh, you know, as soon as somebody says they're gonna lawyer up, well first of all, I would never let anything go 
that far that somebody would have to get a lawyer and sue me. Uh, I'd make it sure that they were happy and they're, and it's made right in business. And, uh, you know, because what is it? It's a, it's a floor, you know? Yeah. And so I can mitigate my damages by making them happy and having them recommend me to other people. So, uh, but, you know, you should never need a lawyer. I, I wouldn't have needed a lawyer for my divorce if my ex-wife didn't talk to her girlfriends. Yeah. You know? You know they really what they were really careful. Without what a lawyer. They, were, they were very careful about in in that courtroom was anybody that was sitting there because they yeah. were occasionally the judge would say, "Is that person a witness?" Because the witnesses have to sit outside; they're not allowed wow. to be in the courtroom because they might hear the testimony. And then you know, they would I, they would adjust what they were saying to what was being said in testimony. You know, the, the, the major asset I had was the house and the business. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I said, you, do you want the business? She says, no. And I said, and I want my kids to grow up in Arinda. So, you know, you take that, I'll take this. Life is good. And, you know, there, there wasn't anything else, uh, you know, some yeah. cash. Yeah. But what I'm saying is she, she spent yeah. it. But, but, you know, I mean, they were very careful about that. There was one guy who was sitting there and, and the judge said, is that person a witness? Because they yeah. didn't want the, any witnesses in there so all the witnesses have to sit out in the uh out in the lobby and they're out there for hours i mean oh, wow. at least i'm getting some entertainment they were getting so, none so yeah. the floor guy was out in the lobby i don't know if there was a floor guy in this case i'm mm -hmm. just saying that as an example no, the, oh yeah okay uh i get it he could have been the ceiling fan installer okay yeah well. yeah but all I'm saying is, is that, you know, the, the, it's exciting when something happens that you are really interested in, and then something comes along like Manushai that somehow makes his case, and you just go, oh, God, what, is this ever going to be over with? Well, somebody's I think calling. they all... Who's calling? They all get together and decide, how can we prolong this? Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Was that that My client's think? checks are clearing. we got to make this last. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I just, I, 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 what I think I wanted to talk about tonight, and I, I think I got my point across, was just the the bur overburdening legal system where these kind of cases are concerned, you know? Yeah. And that, that, that we have to do something to kind of, you know. Anybody 36. here? 36. Anybody here? 36. What? You got 36 in the live chat. Oh, really? Yeah. I had 37. Well, the viewers, the, on the viewers. I had 37. Oh, well, yeah. my thing's probably delayed. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, anybody see Picard? Uh, anybody interested in that at all? No? Oh, okay. Oh, you did. Looks like yeah. Bree. Yeah. Bree. Bree's hand. It was pretty good, it's wasn't it, It's the best Bree? show on television. Well, I know it's the best, best show on television. Mandalorian oh. is pretty damn good. It is excellent. I just started watching uh, Man in the High Castle. Oh, what is God. Picard on? Yeah, Picard's on uh, CBS All Access. Uh, okay, I don't, get that. I don't have that yeah. anymore. Well, there are ways of getting it, you know. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Um, uh, it. I, I thought it was very. I thought it was very good. You know. I mean, uh, yes. Uh, uh, Patrick Stewart is looking very old, but that's part of the storyline. They've worked that into the storyline very nicely. You know. What what are you putting up there? Just, data just died. Reading about, uh, just reading about how it. data died and his reappear and, and his appearance in Picard explained. Okay, I don't. I keep it's, answering it's this phone and then there's nobody there. Right. Is somebody there? Hello. What's what's the area code? Who knows? Because right. I haven't seen it. Probably a crank time. call. Is your refrigerator running? <laughs> oh, what, what? You know nine seven zero. Nine seven zero. I'll look it up. Well, let me see here. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me let me go here and I go plus and it should show me. Oh, it was Ray just trying to call. Oh, hmm. wait a minute. It said, but he's not nine. One group member not well, on. Well, we got ten call. minutes left, so maybe yeah. you know. Yeah, well, he's a six five. Maybe next week. I, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I'll just I'll I'll, 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 I'll call, uh, call him. I guess I don't know. I don't know. Oh well. Anyway, oh here it comes again. It's uh, it's uh, what is it? 
I can't read it because I'm looking at the light. 808? Hello. Colorado. Hello. Eight o- <laughs> Hello, Eight are you there? <clears throat> no, it, it just keeps calling. Hmm. Well, that's... Uh, Ray, Ray 650. Yeah, yeah. It was hard for me to read because it was up where the light is, and the light is now I, I, I kind of looking in the... Is, uh, uh, what's his name from North Carolina, Doug Dupree? Uh, is he 970? I don't know. I was He's nine. Nobody said 970 is Colorado. Really? It's 808 or something. I don't know. Forget okay. it. You know. 808 is Hawaii. Yeah. I mean, oh, here we go again. It's uh, 808. That's Hawaii. That's Hawaii. It could be uh, Lee. Uh, what's his name, Lee? Or it could Hello, be Renee. are you there? could be Renee. See, I answer it, and then there's nobody there. Son of a bitch. It's so, not Renee. N- huh? I said it's not Renee. I don't think so. <laughs> I, so. I, you know, she hasn't called us in, what, a year and a half? Something yeah, like that? I know. Yeah. Did she pass away? No, I don't think yeah. so. You know, we don't know. She kind of she vanished. She just vanished. Yeah, she, yeah. she's an eight oh eight. Yeah, not even Patrick uh, was able to get a hold of her. Yeah, I thought we might hear from Kathleen tonight, but we haven't. So, mm. you know, uh, uh, Lee, the uh, the guy who used to live in San Francisco, he's an eight oh eight. The the guy uh, that lives on the same island as uh, Renee. Yeah, Here, we Here we go again. Here we go again. I don't know that it's, I want to answer it. Uh, why not? What else you got? And then they it just hung up. It's 808 494. Let's see if we can do Google something, from there. Something. Call them. Call them on the phone. What's 80, where's 808? Anybody know? It's in Hawaii. Yeah, it's in Hawaii. Is it? 808 yeah. State is a band. It yeah. might be yeah. Lee. Cause yeah, it is a Hawaii. Well, if it were, he would. It would have his name because he's called the program before. That could be Renee trying to call. Him. No, her uh, name would be up there too. You know, so I don't know. But it's, could a, have gotten it's a new annoying. Number. Whoever it is, it's annoying. Uh, but anyway, we're we're slowly coming towards the end here. Um, having not done a show all week, I'm not in the best of shape to uh, do long spurts of programs. Uh, but I, you know, when it comes to next week, um, uh, I will try and be here. You know, uh, it depends on uh, on how I feel after the radiation. Although they say you feel nothing. You know, that's good. So I feel I got that coming one day. Really? Why? I told you the story already, so I won't go into it. I just I, I I'm putting it off. And I know that I, I should. You're putting what off? Get, getting a PSA test? Well, don't put it off. Listen, I'll tell you something. It's better to know than to not know. Yeah. And secondly, at your age, probably you're fine. You know. Hey, somebody somebody said uh, if Phil uh, Phil needs his own YouTube channel. I'm sorry for the guy. Uh, yeah, it's his views. Did he hurt anyone for real? Would Phil help the hungry? Ask him. Well, I'll tell you, today I was getting gas, and I saw some guy uh, going through the garbage can at the gas oh. station, and he looked homeless, and yeah. I gave him 15 bucks and oh, told really? him to get lunch. Really? So that's Phil. That's a couple of free hats. That's, that's a nice tip. Well, no, no, no. He was not working there. He was oh. looking through Gee, the garbage. You know, I'm just food. looking. When I when I have my glasses on like this, I look like Chuck Schumer. <laughs> Chuck <laughs> Schumer. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Yeah. Chuck Schumer does that. Or yeah. talk like Chuck <laughs> Schumer. Talk like Chuck Schumer. You ever yeah. think the glasses pinch his nose, you know? Yeah, well. Yeah. How can you keep him I've never been a big Chuck time. Schumer fan, right. so you know, you can go after him if you want to, Phil. I don't care. <laughs> nah, you know, I, I pity the fool. You know. when, I, when I sit here and talk like this, and then all of a sudden my eyes get bigger, do I look like Adam Schiff? Adam Schiff. Schiff. <laughs> <laughs> there's a mime. Uh, there's a mime with uh, mm. Adam Schiff uh, moving his head, and right next like to him. All of a sudden, you but sit look, there we can make as much fun as we want to of all butt. those other people, but none compared to the fat fuck Donald Trump. Well, Adam, okay. Adam Schiff, yeah, you know, on Beetlejuice, the guy, the uh, shrunken oh. head man sitting in the yeah. uh, 
in, in the in the medical office mm. or in the office. Uh, it, so you got the the shrunken head guy and Adam Schiff, and they look yeah. the same. Uh, let me just quickly ask Tony, how's your mother? Thank God to who? right now. She's still alive. You know, She's uh, alive. Uh, 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 to get her to <laughs> sleep every night, do you use propofol? Actually, I use Tylenol PMs. I got them in the back. She takes two. But they don't work sometimes. Oh, really? I don't know how she does it. I don't use Excedrin anymore. Uh, just a, a slight hint. Try clubbing her over the head. <laughs> you know what I got her today? She when we run to the store. I had to get Yankee Doodles and Devil Dogs for, for the hey. weekend. Get her a treadmill. Two for five. I get two already. Yeah. Hey, I was going to say, Alex, have you ever thought about getting one of those Pelotons? Uh, you know, I was I, I started looking at them. Uh, they, they look pretty interesting. And, you know, you, you it's the pi bicycle, and then they have these spin classes that you take online, uh, um, and you don't have to go down. You don't even have to leave oh, the yeah. house, you know? Yeah. Uh, you ever look at those? No. Yeah. Vernon Nunn says, Bill Maher says there are only three ways to get rid of Trump. Impeachment, election, or KFC. There you go. <laughs> That's the way to go. Yeah. Yeah. So. Hey, did you see that Popeye's uh, <clears throat> I sent you? Yeah. Rat. Like a Bill squirrel Hart. or a rat? Oh. That's a setup, that picture. Oh, my God. That's a, that's a you know. Well, that's old. It is. Is it old? Yeah. yeah. See, I never get the good stuff uh, when it's happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so so uh, so I, let's see here. I guess I have nothing else more to say. It's, I got about forty seconds before I run the theme. Anybody want to say something before we go? It's nice that you're here, uh, back here. Well, thank you very much. We kind of yeah. miss Jeff. I appreciate it. Good luck in March. Uh, well, that's a long Happy way away. Happy Chinese New Year. Gong Wish me good luck time. then. Gong okay. Gong 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 oh yeah, Gong Hei Fa Choi. I can beat that YouTube guy. Yeah, Gung Hef Choi. All right. Okay, let me play the theme. What the hell? Okay, one from theme. column A, two from column B. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have to learn how to do two hours of this again. I'm exhausted. Uh, yeah. But anyway. Plus, I didn't watch the news this week, so I didn't see what was going on. You know, all I know is there's a flu going around. Hey, um, you mean to say when you're sitting there, you couldn't have put headphones or earphones? Oh, you got it? That's I terrible. had that. I got it. I was in Thailand. I got it. But I'm better now. Okay. Oh, you got you got it? Yeah. You got I thought the... you knew that. I, didn't you see all the medicine I had? And Oh, really? Me? But was it that flu or just the flu? Yeah. Well, you know, what do they I call that the... flu? It's got a name. I was, on the plane I was in Thailand. I was with the Chinese. Yeah. Anyway, hey, everybody. Thank you so much uh, for joining me tonight. I appreciate it. Uh, and uh, if you'd like to give a big wave goodbye, I'll wave bye-bye to you, too. So thank you very much, Phil. Uh, 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 thank you, uh, Tony. Thank you, uh, uh, Jeff. Thank you, uh, Bree. Thank you, Kevin. And thanks to Ray, who has been gone for quite a while. I'm waving goodbye at you. You can wave back again. Okay, there we go. Okay, there they are, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for tonight. There's another one assembling in a few moments with uh, uh, Jack Bishop. He'll be here with the intersection, and uh, all you have to do is call him, just like he called, people call me, and discuss the matters of the day or, I don't know, the latest episode of Andy Griffith, because uh, uh, that's what he likes to talk about. Uh, you know, I'm having a hard time seeing my... <laughs> <laughs> my, my, uh, what do you call it here? Uh, what the hell? Oh, there it is. Okay, I, because I have a light up here and it's blinding me a little bit. I shouldn't do that. Okay, anyway, that's it for tonight. I'll see you again uh, on Tuesday, hopefully, if I'm feeling well. Uh, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, you know what? Tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.